Hey guys, this is Not Lammers, and today I want to talk about building your main deck. Um, this is a topic that I've been wanting to do a video on for a little while, but I haven't really uh, put forth the effort or energy to do it. And today I actually want to sit down. I'm gonna, cause I've recorded this video three times. That should tell you how much I want to do this video. Um, and each time I just went off on like the deck that I was talking about instead of doing it how I really wanted to do it. So now I'm actually going to try and constrain myself a little bit and actually sit down and tell you about what I personally think making a main deck is about. So the deck I'm going to use as an example is ABC. So uh, so let's take a look at ABC. Uh, and this is that you can apply these ideas to any to any which way that you want to apply them to. So First, let's take a look at the quick at the thing at ABC in general, and I think we really only need to look at two cards out of the archetype. Of course, uh, we have A, uh, A, B, and C, but we're only going to be taking a look at A because a lot of the because they're basically all the same. So A is a level four light union machine, and that's really what you need to know about it. He's a light union machine that is level four, as are the other guys. Next, we need to look at what their extra deck monsters consist of. That being ABC Dragon Buster, a level 8 fusion fusion effect monster. Again, that's really all you need to know about them for this moment. So, and moving back into the main deck, what can we do to support, what kind of support does your deck have? Do they have lots of spells or do they have lots of traps? Well, with um, ABC, they happen to have a field spell, that being Union Hanger. Union Hanger is a very versatile part of the thing. You have to look at how important these cards are. Union Hanger being able to search out one of the ABC pieces is really important to the deck. So you should probably run that. Um, stuff like if you look at Destiny Heroes, something like Destiny Draw is really, is really important to the deck because it lets you dump cards to the graveyard like Malicious and draw two new ones. Stuff like that. Something along the lines of, let's say, let's use Union Scramble for the example, another ABC card. Union Scramble is a trap card that kind of has a bit of a niche application where it summons back three of your banished ABC pieces and then you can banish it from your graveyard on a different turn to add one to your hand. Now while this effect on the surface is good because it's like, oh, well I don't have to tag out my ABC, that's where the issue lies. ABC likes to tag out back into its pieces and which will trigger Union Hanger. While Union Scramble won't exactly let you do that per se. Union Scramble is better in the side deck against a certain matchup, much like Trickstar. I personally like the card in my side deck, especially lately, uh, even though it's not in my video, sadly. But yeah, you have to look at stuff like that, where it's a more of a niche application, but something like Union Scramble has definitely found its place in the side deck due to the way that uh, Trickstar Reincarnation works in that matchup. So the next thing we need to look at is, since ABC really only consists of the three monsters, of course we're going to be running them all at three, right? To make the deck function and go into our boss monster, which is what we want to do. So that gives us three, six, and nine cards. Well, we need about 15 to 20 monsters. So, let's throw in, so let's think about what can support a machine deck. What kind of cards were released recently that kind of support machine, well not, I say recently. But anyway, um, we can look at something along the lines of Cyber Dragon. Cyber Dragon can give this deck access to all its extra decks, such as Mega Fleet and Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. That would be cool. But the better option here, and the better level 5 light monster, would definitely be Galaxy Soldier. As Galaxy Soldier gives you, lets you discard an ABC piece, and, and since the ABC is confusing the Buster Dragon from the graveyard, discarding them isn't too bad. They're also all machines in level 5, and he searches out, a, and Galaxy Soldier is able to search out another copy of himself, which you can still discard. Not to mention they can also go into Nova and Infinity, which is a nice boost up into uh, the ABC deck. So you should probably run about three Galaxy Soldier as well. Now we're at 12. What else exists for machines? Well, of course there is the gadgets. Uh, gold, gold Gadget and Silver Gadget easily summon these guys and also puts one on board and can still trigger the Union Hanger card and gives you access to a rank 4 off the bat. I, and not to mention, the gadgets are light types. The gold and silver are light, so you can make, uh, what's it, Bujinki Tsukiyomi, or Tornado Dragon, something useful. Girgi and X, even. So, I think putting in two copies of each of those wouldn't hurt either. Now, the one, the next set of cards is one that is kind of iffy and depends on your build of ABC, whether you want to play ABC D or ABC Pure. Um, 
ABCD is ABC Destrudo. So usually you want to throw in two copies of Destrudo and one uh, Supreme King Dark Worm for that. So there you go, that's about the monster lineup you want, but because of the format we're in, we also want to run about five to six hand, five, anywhere from four to eight hand traps, but I personally like five, that being one copy of Ash Blossom, because I only have the one, two Ogres and two Veilers. This gives the deck a nice bit of disruption outside of uh, Decode and ABC Buster Dragon from the extra deck. So you also have to look at what cards you have at your disposal. If you don't have Ash Blossoms, you can run three Effect Veilers. It does almost the same thing. If you don't have Ghost Ogres, try something out like Deco, like not Deco, DD Crow, or another hand trap that maybe you might not, that maybe I don't know about. One hand trap I've been wanting to test around is White Princess, which weakens your opponent's monsters by their level times 300. You could try something like that out. And she's also a light type, so she would fit in ABCs perfectly. So now that we've looked at our monster lineup, we also need to look at our spell and trap lineup and talk about what can exactly help out your main deck. Um, people may think that, like, oh, it's part of my archetype, I have to run it. Something along the line, again, I'm going to use, uh, let's go with, uh, what's a bad deck? Uh, let's go with Blue Eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, Devin. Um... Let's go with Blue Eyes, for example. There's a card called Majesty with the Eyes of Blue. It's a quick play spell card that dumps a Blue Eyes monster to the graveyard to stop it. It's basically Fiendish Chains your opponent's monster without staying on the board. While this, on the surface, looks like a good card, Blue Eyes already has enough ways of getting themselves into the graveyard and reviving themselves that they don't really need Majesty. Um, and since Majesty doesn't actually negate effects, of, to my knowledge, um, it's not that great over some of the stuff like Hope Harbinger or things that you can run in your extra deck. So that's definitely a card you want to use, even though it's part of the Blue Eyes archetype. Same goes for uh, something in Dark Magician. Thousand Knives may on the surface look like a good card, but because of its, uh, but because it targets and it's only searchable off of Eternal Soul, uh, and only blows up one monster, you don't really want to run Thousand Knives when you can run the Harpy's Feather Duster that is Dark Magic Attack over it. So, what do we run in ABC? What do we run? What cards are good for that then? Well, cards for ABC would definitely have to be, we have to look at what kind of monsters we're running. Destrudo and Dark Worm like being in the graveyard on turn one, so that way we can get them back out on the field to do our combo that I recently posted. Well, because of that, we're going to want to run at least a couple Dragon's Ravines, or some other way to get them in the graveyard. Because they're not light, it's going to be a really hard getting them in the graveyard off of Galaxy Soldier. Also, Galaxy Soldier will stop the Dark Worm's effect from even summoning itself, so... We want to run something like Dragon Shrine, along with uh, three terraformings to get to our field spells, because Union Hanger is really important to this deck. Um, along with those terraforms, so now we have uh, six, eight cards in our deck. Eight cards for our spells and traps. Those are all pretty good. Now, after that, after the monster stuff, after like finding spells that synergize with your with your typing, and because like just because ABC doesn't really need a whole lot of uh, specific things to help it run outside of the monsters we can look at more generic spells and traps and see what else we can run in this deck. Because we're running Destrudo, you don't want to run too many things that pay your life points. Although the Solemn Brigade, such as, which now I think consists of two strikes and a, and a Judgment, um, doesn't, doesn't hurt either. Especially since Judgment can easily um, just use whatever you have left. Along with, But when it comes to something like back row removal in this deck, you want to want to uh, run something like Cosmic Cyclone, because you're using Destrudo and the Solemns to pay a lot of your life points. You'd want something along the lines of Twin Twister, which can discard a piece out of your hand to pop two back row. This is very useful for ABCs, as it can easily get the last piece you need into your graveyard, and also get rid of a couple cards in your opponent's back row. So you want to run something like Twin Twister in this deck. Um, along with Twin Twisters and the other spells, you might... Uh, a lot of people like Pot of Desires, but... It, when it comes to Pot of Desires and ABC, you might be banishing more than just you want. Say you, uh, there's a lot of hypotheticals I could go into right now, but the point is, you're going to be banishing the pieces you need more than often you won't. So, and because of the way that this deck functions, being able to pull stuff out of the deck, and, out, and also just having access to a really good pool of monsters uh, for the extra, you don't really need Pot of Desires in this deck. But, say your deck is slower and more combo-centric, something that isn't like ABC, aside from its turn one Destrudo plays, you might want to play Pot of Desires in it, something like Junk Doppel or uh, Dark Synchro. 
Uh, those decks, or Spiral even, those decks really like Pot of Desires because it's an instant plus one and starts them out with six cards on their first turn. Now, uh, ABC doesn't really need too much to run, but you also uh, want to run stuff like Board Wipes. You want to run something along the lines of Dark Hole and Regeki. Uh, Dark Hole doesn't actually hurt this deck too much, being that if our monsters are sent from the field of the graveyard, we actually get our effects off of A, B, and C. Um, when they hit the graveyard. So dark holding an opponent's board where they don't get anything out of it, such as something like Spiral or Trickstar, while we get some a little bit of advantage by searching with searching with B, pulling something back to our hand with A, or even special summoning something out of our hand with C can definitely benefit us uh, in the long run against our opponent. Um I'm trying to think of what else you might need. Um while you can run Mirror Forces in this deck, that's really a, a your own call on that. I personally don't like to run too many traps outside of Solemn. Anyway, looking at your deck's support, uh, we could because these guys are unions, we can also use stuff like, uh, what is that? It's a frontline base. You can use something along the lines of frontline base to help special summon guys out of your hand. And while it is a continuous card, it ends you... Uh, constantly accrues you advantage. It does take things out of your hand so that way so that way you don't really have anything to summon or to ditch off with ABC Buster Dragon. So you need to look at things like that. How does it benefit the turn two game, I guess? Um, as turn one definitely tends to be a bit more of explosive and important in this game now. Uh, turn two is more focusing on your opponent and what can we do to stop him from getting an insane board like we just did. But yes, Anyway, because also you can look at other things such as, uh, what is it, Iron Call? I think that's what it's called. It summons a level 4 out of the graveyard. Um, that card could be useful in this deck as well. You need to, but in the end, it is your call what you put in your deck. It, you just need to take in consideration some cards just aren't better as others. The example being Union Scramble with ABCs. It does have its niche applications, but again, that's really only with one matchup. So you want to be able to use cards that have the broadest sense and get you the most advantage. And sometimes that only means running one or two uh, archetype specific cards and maybe a few type specific cards. But yes, I, I hope that I have helped you in some way with building your main deck. I hope that you found this video insightful and I hope to see you in the next video because I am planning on making this a series of how to build a side deck and how to build an extra deck. And next, uh, the next video I hope to do is how to build an extra deck. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.